Hey guys, well, I want to make some soup today. If you watched my video from the other day, I said I was feeling a little cozy and to get into the fall weather uh, or the mood, I wanted to make some soup. So we're going to do that today. My name is Patrice, the Patrice Denise, and I have been chron chronicling my journey, um, my life for the last 45-ish, 46-ish weeks, and I would like for you to come along with me today as I make some soup. So I have two different types of soups that I want to make. One is a beef taco soup, and the other is a white chicken chili soup. If you looked at any of my videos where I cook or meal prep and things like that, you know, I am not a cook per se. I just do what I can in the kitchen and I make it quick and easy. So that's how these ones will be today. Both of these you can do in the, um, in the uh, what do you call it? They see the terms. I don't even know the terms of things, but you do it in the Instapot. So you can do it in the pressure cooker. That's what they call it, pressure cooker. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I wanna start with the beef taco soup and I'll also make sure to put the recipe down in the description box below, so check it out if you are interested. Excuse my hair. I have these in because I am trying to, um, my hair is going to be crimpy when I take this out, so excuse this. I'm trying to make it look presentable, <laughs> but excuse it. But anyways, back to the soup. So the taco soup. This one seems to be the easiest, so I'm going to start with this one first. And the reason I'm doing two is because I can eat on it, um, both of them, for the remainder of this week. I also can uh, freeze it, so I'll be putting them in containers to freeze so that I can heat them up later on, maybe like next week and so forth. And I can take some to work with me when I go to work on Saturday. So just a lot that I can have for later. Uh, my kids may eat the beef taco soup tonight. We'll see if they like it. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. But let's just get into it. Okay, I need a vegetable chopper. So that's one thing I'm going to look on Amazon for. If you have a good one, put in the comments below where you got your vegetable chopper from or which vegetable chopper that you have because this is not it, sitting here cutting all these vegetables. I told y'all, I like things to be simple. <laughs> so for the tomatoes, we're just going to have crushed tomatoes that's already in the can. But I do need to mince the garlic. had some assistance. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put in, it says the sauteed ground beef, onion, and the bell pepper until the meat is done. Then we're going to add the garlic cloves, the beef broth, tomato salsa, and the taco seasoning. Okay, so let's just do that. I'm going to go ahead and um, drain the grease off of this. All right, now it says to add the garlic cloves. So put those in. The minced garlic. It says to add 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, or you could have used um, diced tomatoes. And then 24 ounces of beef broth. All right, it says two taco packets, taco seasoning packets. It says um, four ounces of salsa. All right, so we are gonna set this in uh, on the instant or the pressure cooker setting for two minutes. And then after the two minutes, then we'll add the cheese, the heavy cream, and that'll be it. 
you just have to let this cheese melt and then it will be all done. Here is the finished product of the taco beef soup. Yummy, 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 yummy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some jalapenos to it and some um, green onions to give it some color. I love jalapenos, I like spicy stuff. And then, since this reminds you know me of like a chili, well, not necessarily like a chili, but it does remind me of a, the color reminds me of a chili. I'm going to, what do y'all eat your soups with? So I'm going to have some tortilla, tortilla chips because that's what I eat with my chili anyway. Uh, a lot of people eat crackers with their chili. I eat tortilla chips. Oh, you know what would have been real good? Some cornbread. <laughs> some cornbread would have been real good with this soup. So let me show you. Okay. So, sorry. Focus, focus, focus. Here it is with the green onions and the jalapenos. And I'm going to have some tortilla chips on the side and bon appetit. Now, I am going to make my other one in a second, the other um, soup, the chicken chili soup. But let's just see how this tastes. And I'm going to a question that needs answered. Do y'all have an issue with silverware at your house? Where does, me and my cousin were talking about this earlier. Where do the silverware go? So, Somehow, some way, the forks and the spoons, they just disappear. I don't know. Where do they go? Help me out. If you know where they go, let me know. <laughs> but let's just take a test, taste test. Get some green onion, some green onion, and one jalapeno. Oh, this is good. The jalapeno hot. Woo! This is good. Good, good, good. What you could do, if you want to give it some more um, you could add some um, beans and some corn to this. But I like it just like it is. Good. So, I'm going to eat on this, but I'm going to start my chicken chili because I want to have two kinds. And I'm going to put them in containers like this so that and these are 2.1 cup containers and they can uh, I got these right from Walmart they twist shut so that I can have already um, have some servings set aside for like lunch dinner work Saturday and then I'll freeze some so that I can have next week too but I like soup in the fall. So let's get into the chicken chili. I don't know if I said this when I was cooking the um, taco beef soup, but make sure to um, season your meat. I know y'all probably did or, or probably will, but make sure to season your meat because that helps with the seasoning overall. And I just use salt, pepper, and um, I think I use Tony's um, Creole seasoning. We use that on everything. That and then we also use, you, onion powder and garlic powder and everything but so make sure you season your meat so the chicken chili um chicken chili soup it is calling for me to go ahead and saute the onions and the garlic so i'm gonna do that first and then once that is done you basically just throw everything else in there so i'm gonna put in the chicken which i already cooked the chicken but now that i'm looking at the recipe this one says it's supposed to cook in the pressure cooker with everything else so instead of me putting the pressure cooker on 12 um i probably can just put it on like eight but i'm so yeah i'm gonna still let it cook all right so i gotta put in the chicken breast chicken broth so the chicken broth is going to be two cups of chicken broth it's going to, and we're going to put in two cans of northern beans. You want to drain those and rinse those. Two cans of the 4.5 ounces of the chopped green chilies. And it says don't drain those. And some chili powder, kosher salt, Kanye pepper, Kanye pepper. How do you say it? Kanye, 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 right? 
and then um the cream cheese well, i put the cream cheese in last yeah the cream cheese will go in after we already um put in the pressure cooker then i don't have any cumin so i looked and looked and i don't see any and my husband is not here to tell me where it's at he's he took the kids to basketball practice so we're just going to not have any cumin and, and it'll be all right we'll be okay so we're gonna let this start and i will come back after it when we start to add the cheese i really do not like cutting up onions or either garlic because i feel like make your hands sink so that's why i need a um chopper but i love the way it smells as it cooks oh it smells so good it smells so good here's how it looks after the um, being pressure cooked now I did add a little bit more chili powder and a little bit more uh, cognac pepper um, but it tastes good so far I did a little taste test on it the, the juice just to make sure it was seasoned well so I did add a little bit more just to get more um, heat heat to it but it tastes good so far now what I have to add is the cream cheese and cilantro I don't have fresh cilantro I forgot that so I have to just put um, the cilantro that's in the bottle in it and let that melt down and we'll be ready to eat because I'm using this I'm gonna have to shake 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 and get a good bit in there I should just open it up and pour it in there <laughs> and I have this on um, simmering right now as I'm shaking so the pot is on sear I wish I had some fresh cilantro. So now I'm just gonna let that cheese melt and we'll be back. All right, here's the finished product of this one. I got some sour cream, the French onions, not French onions, the fried onions. Um, little shredded lettuce. Oh, not shredded lettuce, shredded cheese. <laughs> um, jalapenos and the green onions. So this is the chicken chili, the white chicken chili. Let's taste it. Let me make sure I get more of the soup first, then I'll get the ingredients, the other fixings on top. I can do this. So I got my taco beef soup, and now I got my chicken. I always wanted to try to make this so chicken chili, the white chicken chili. So it has those northern kidney beans. Let me add some jalapeno to this bite, and some of this French onions, some sour cream. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is good. So I have already put. Let me show you. So I already put some of the taco beef soup inside of these little containers. And I got these containers, like I said, right from Walmart. And this will be um, easy to put in the microwave and heat back up for lunch. So I have lunch for tomorrow. I have lunch for Saturday. I'm gonna do the same thing with the white chicken chili. I'm gonna do three of those um, for the white chicken chili. So I'll have six little individual servings ready for next couple days and with this i love uh, soup so much that i would probably pick these up for um lunch and dinner and then the family can um go ahead and eat on what they want to eat on and we got some different meals for the remainder of this week but let me know in the comments below what kind of soups you like to make in the fall i like to also make um zupa toscana that's the olive garden um like the copycat of that I like to also make chicken noodle soup. I like chili. 
just regular chili. Um, and what else do I need? Oh, the vegetable um, hamburger soup. My kids like that one. So let me know what you, what kind of soups you like. Let me know if you're gonna try any of these. If you have already tried these, and what is your like, little special twist to it? If you've already, you know, uh, made any of these, but. Hopefully this has inspired you in some type of way. And I'm gonna get into this. And then I'm going to um, finish putting the this soup into the little containers. And that'll be it for tonight. But as always guys, I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your love and your support. And until the next video, I love you guys and God bless.